So we're about to leave to Skaret. Skaret. I don't know how to say this. We have to learn it. But just forgot her charger for the phone. So now she's running back to the room. And yeah, we're late already. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Today is a very exciting day because we are in a place that I've wanted to visit my whole life. We're in Skaret. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not here alone because we have Lorena. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so our friends from Experiencias Skaret um, helped us come here. And we're super excited because we are looking around. We're in the Pueblo Maya right now and we're gonna show you a bit of the Mexican culture today. Bienvenidos. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Welcome. I just asked Lore, how do you say the name of the park? Xcaret or Escaret? Because a lot of Mexican people say Escaret. And what's their answer? Escaret. Escaret. It's because of the X. In Maya language, the X sounds like S H. But people say it in like 1,000 ways. It's yeah. pretty funny. And it's fine. Escaret. We understand. Escaret. 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 So, I guess we just arrived here at the park and I'm already sweating like crazy. <laughs> it's so warm. I think it's like 35 degrees. It's Maybe. 31. 31? Guys, there's so much to see. I'm already overwhelmed. Uh, <laughs> Yannick wants to record everything. Look, water guys, water. Look at my aqua shoes, I'm not getting wet. <laughs> rainbow guys, a rainbow. Dinosaur or a quati? Dinosaur, look, legs, and here's the head. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is Joss, this is me with another girl. <gasps> Yannick! Spider webs, Joss nightmare. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about skating. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to get wet because it's super hot. What she said. <laughs> this is like paradise for real. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? No. Oh no. He didn't get it. In your face. In your face. <laughs> Me with my new boyfriend. What? A little bit young for you. Oh. <laughs> It smells amazing already, guys. It smells like chocolate. Good morning, welcome to the workshop. My name is Thomas, and today we make natural and artisanal chocolate. It's artisanal because we only use that stone, okay. that odor, and the more important, your hands and your strong. First, we need to break all the beans, make the paste, and then we can mix with different ingredients. Shine. Then you can choose sugar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at that. No problem. <laughs> You're too slow. Here in Mexico, the grandmothers or the mothers say, when you make salsa, you need to be happy because if you are angry, the salsa is really spicy. Mm. The chocolate <laughs> is similar. Are you happy, Yannick? I'm happy. Okay. It's gonna be super sweet. <laughs> Look, Yannick. You need to be stronger. <laughs> For testing one more time. Now uh, I'm excited. It's not sweet, it's no bitter. It's nice. It's okay, or will you like more sugar? No, I like it. I like it too. There's your mm -hmm. natural semi sweet chocolate with chili and Mexican pepper. 
made chocolate, chocolate for the first time. Look at Look this. this. It's still liquid. My hard work. My hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. For your visit. Guys, these are the important things that you need when you come to Shkaret. Sunscreen, but bio one, not a normal one. You can bring your normal one and then you can exchange it for this one in the front. Second, repellent spray for insects. Bio one. Bio. We bought it at the entrance. <laughs> aqua shoes. Aqua shoes or sandals. You don't need aqua shoes, but it's pretty cool because you can walk around with them all day long. We have one super big problem. I want to record everything here. It looks so nice, but we don't have time. We need like a week in Shkaret. <laughs> yeah, it looks super cool, y'all. And as you can tell, I'm sweating like crazy. I didn't bother putting on makeup today. Good choice. Oh my god. Guys, it's so cool. You can hear all the birds around us. God, it's so cool. So guys, this is a replica of a Mexican cemetery. As some of you know, Mexicans celebrate death a lot. And you can totally see the representation of... Oh my god, the birds! <laughs> Those birds hate us. They don't want to let you speak. You can totally see the representation of that celebration with all the colors and the creativity that they put into every stone. And it's just like art. Now I'm dizzy. Guys, so this is 90% nature and only 10% like this path was made by humans. But all the rest was made by nature. Guys, it's amazing. I'm in love. With um, the shape of me? Yeah, with the shape of you. The thing is, the park is huge. It's huge. I, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to see all of it today because we want to stop everywhere and record for you guys. This is so cool. So let's hurry up and walk around and do stuff. Let's do it. Yeah. Hemos creado un hábitat único. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No, no. no. <laughs> con nuestros programas de reproducción y, con, uh, y conservación. Very good. How professional, dude. Could I be a speaker for the park? Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you hear that, guys? The sounds of birds. Guys, we're so in love with these two beautiful birds. Like, we have been spending here half an hour already. <laughs> Our whole scared time is taken over by these two. Yeah. See? He said hello. Oh my god! 
Is that poop? Yeah. Is that poop? Yeah. Got got poop. No! You have to take it off. Sorry, now she's taking a photo. Oh god, oh my god, these birds have diarrhea. <laughs> Is it off? No, it's not. Mm, it's like a scoop of ice cream. A scoop of ice cream, not toy guys, not toy. There's always something happening around us and we usually take the camera too late. Correct. You know what's also happening here in Skaret? I'm getting a sunburn, although I got sunscreen. This park is so important because being here, you feel like you're in the middle of nature. You really get to appreciate more the different species of birds, animals that they have here and nature itself. I like it. It's all about conservation and that's a very cool message and it's getting to me. I'm in my outfit and I'm ready to go into the river. Let's see how it goes because I'm not the best swimmer. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared that the water is going to be super cold. Ah, oh, it's cold. Refreshing. It's nice. The chest is like... <laughs> Man, just takes forever. <laughs> Wait for me, dude. Oh, oh my god. It's super cold. It is cold. The water doesn't feel cold anymore. No. So you get acclimated very fast. This thing has a belt that goes in between your legs and comes out on the other side. I took it off because it was like a thong. It's Yeah, I feel <laughs> like I'm having a thong right now. <laughs> that thong though. <laughs> that thong is really stretching my cheeks apart. You. Yeah, because this thing is floating, you know, so it pulls up. So it pulls your... Oh, forget it. Double chin. Double chinning. Oh, we're getting into the darkness. Dude, it's scary. I'm holding the camera in one hand the whole time. The whole Up. time. Oh, I cannot. I can't. Up. Oh, guys. I don't know why you're so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, water. <laughs> you're so dramatic. Uh, <laughs> Let's just flow together. Let's keep flowing. Okay, let's go. I cannot go. My heart is anxious. What? I feel anxiety. Why? I'm so relaxed. This, this light west, light west, is going up. Put it's cutting thong. into my armpits. That's what the thong is for. Okay, I'm gonna put the thong back on. <laughs> I... <laughs> I have to confess something. What? I also put the thong on. <laughs> you can totally see the thong. My yeah. God, you cannot stop taking photos, dude. Got it. What's up guys? So we just came out of the river and now we're going to the restaurant now to eat. Guys, there's so Thanks. much stuff I have no idea what to start with. She cannot stop <laughs> laughing. Dude, even the melon tastes paradise. I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, guys? I don't regret it. I don't regret it. That's a third <laughs> plate that Joss is eating. Right now. <laughs> She's never eating three plates. <laughs> never. She's almost crying, dude. I'm not crying, dude. Show me your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. But we're still not done. <laughs> Look at this fail, guys. Guys, honestly, I'm a little bit sad. It's way too late already. 
and we have done so little. We wanted to go snorkeling, we can't do it anymore. We wanted to do a boat trip on the river, we can't do it anymore. Muscaret is a place to come early like in the morning. Two days, or no, like two days. Yeah, so now we're just gonna check out the beach area instead. La vida es más sabrosa en el mar. Yo quiero nadar. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. <laughs> with, <laughs> with, with your aqua shoes. <laughs> what a <laughs> It's time to go to a show. We didn't have much time at the beach, so we were there for like 30 minutes. We didn't get to snorkel. We couldn't, yeah. Tomorrow. We didn't even go into the water at the beach. So guys, it's the next day and we're in another park that's called Shelha. And you're gonna see that video next week. Yesterday in Shkaret we had lots of fun, but when we arrived home we were completely tired. We just fell asleep right away after showering. We wanna thank Experiencia Shkaret for inviting us to these parks. It has been an amazing time. Thank you to Lorena, you were an amazing guide and we had a lot of fun with you. Thank you for your patience. He was stopping every five seconds. <laughs> thank you guys for watching our videos because you're the main reason why we're here and without you we couldn't do any of this, so. Thank you, we love you so, so much. We'll see you next week in Shelha, and if you want to see those videos and you're not subscribed already, click on subscribe. Adios muchachos. Cheers, we love you.